Welcome back. In this video, we are going to install Visual Studio. This is going to be the software that we're going to use throughout the course, and it allows us to develop a lot easier. And it does a lot of things that will increase our speed and in general will help us to write great software. So let's go ahead and Google Visual Studio. And hereby, we're going to install Visual Studio 2019. Just go to visualstudio.microsoft.com and here you have a choice of three options. So this one is for Windows, this one is for Windows as well, and then you have Visual Studio for Mac, which is the Mac version. So if you have a Mac, then you should install this version here, Visual Studio for Mac. Otherwise, you will need to install Visual Studio and here you can choose between three different versions, Community, Professional, Enterprise, and community is the one that we're going to use. It's the free version, and it really does all of the things that we are going to need for the course. Visual Studio Code is another great software that you can use for a lot of different things, a lot of different developments, for example, developing web apps, developing apps in general, also a lot of web development in general. So a great tool. I really can recommend that for pretty much everything except for C Sharp because there we have Visual Studio, which is an amazing tool. It's a full featured IDE to code, debug, test and deploy to any platform. And hereby IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, which pretty much just means it's a software that helps us to program. All right, so let's just download Visual Studio Community. And what that will do is it will download an installer. So it's not really going to be the software itself. It's really just an installer, which help us for Visual Studio. So let's go ahead and install the latest version. So Visual Studio installer, in order to continue, you need to read through the Microsoft privacy statement and also to agree with the software license terms. All right, so if you have not read them, maybe it would make sense for you to do, the, do so. So the Visual Studio installer is now being installed. So we're still not installing Visual Studio, but just the installer. So let's just wait a little bit until that is done. All right, now that the installer has been installed, we can go ahead and install Visual Studio. So you can see that there are different workloads that we can install in terms of Visual Studio. And you can see it's installing Visual Studio Community 2019. So what is important is really just to let you install Visual Studio Community. The year here is not going to be as important, even though there are minor changes in the UI. So it just looks a little different, but in the end, the software is pretty much the same. All right, so here in the workloads, you have to select what you want to install. And in our case, it's going to be the Windows stuff. So here, .NET Desktop Development and Universal Windows Platform Development. So these are the two that I'm going to tick here. And then if you want to develop with Unity, you can install this one here or game development with C++, you can take that one here as well. And as you can see, there are a lot of other tool sets that are added. On top of that, you can go to individual components and here you can see what is installed and or what is ticked in my case, it's all of those frameworks. And then what we're also going to use is SQL. So I'm just going to add all of the SQL ticks here and also link to SQL tools. So this one here, under code tools, link to SQL tools. Let's just check this one as well. On top of that, if you need any language packages, so if you want to install other languages, then you can do so here in language packs, which I highly recommend if you feel more comfortable in another language. But if you really want to follow along step by step and doing things exactly as they are shown and displayed in this course, then the English version should be fine. All right, then we can see here that it's going to require 16 gigabytes of space in my case, which is quite a bit. And it also can install while downloading, which is a great thing. So I'm just going to click install and then it will start installing. And this is going to take a little while because we need to download quite a bit and install quite a bit. So you can see here, start after installation is ticked. So it will automatically start once the installation process is done. While this is downloading, I want to quickly talk to you about the version that I was using when recording the course. So I recorded this 30 hour course with Visual Studio Community 2017. And there are some UI changes, but really when it comes to the code and when it comes to the general structure of the UI, there's really not that much of a difference. So everything is going to work exactly as it is in 
the course so you can just follow along with your visual studio community 2019 even though the videos were recorded with 2017. all right so in my case the installation is done and visual studio pops up so this is how it looks and it asks you whether you want to sign in create an account or if you just want to use the software without logging in or signing in or creating an account so this is going to work for a while but then after a while you might have to create an account so i would recommend to just create an account with microsoft if you don't have one and then you can simply sign in with it so i'm just going to do that real quick once you're logged in this is what you're going to see so visual studio 2019 as you saw it just changed colors so it went from a light color to a dark color i'm going to show you how to change the theme so to change the color setting here once you have a couple of projects you will see them here on the left hand side below open recent but then other than that you can get started here on the right hand side by either creating a new project or by continuing it without code so i'm just going to quickly continue without code for now and this is what's going to come up so this is my visual studio here this is going to be the IDE, the Integrated Development Environment. So the software that is going to make our life so much easier. And here under Tools and Options, what you can do is you can go ahead and change the color theme. So for me, it's dark and I like dark and I'm going to use dark throughout the course. But if you prefer the light version, you can just select the color theme light and then the whole setting will be this light color. So if you see tutorials somewhere else, so screenshots or stuff like that then very often you will see this color setting or even the blue color setting which is slightly different again so here you can just select what you prefer and as i said i really like the dark theme because for me it's just easier on the eyes all right so i'd say we're going to start with our first little program in the next video so see you there